It's a pleasure for me to introduce here the Electronica uh, Claudio Tussolo. He is a president of the semiconductor division of Viker. And we will talk about uh, power conversion and power distribution. Welcome, Claudio. Thank you. Nice Happy to, to be here. You. Thank you. What are you presenting at Electronica? So this year we are uh, unveiling uh, our uh, what we call our power uh, component strategy, which is uh, made up uh, by complement of uh, modular and scalable building blocks that can be combined and interfaced to enable end-to-end -end solutions for the customer to allow power systems that operate from the input source, which could be a high voltage DC source or AC main all the way down to the point of load. Mm -hmm. Your company solutions are covering a wide range of applications, right? That's correct. Uh, one of the beauty of our technology, because of its uh, modular and scalable nature, allows us to cover a wide range of applications, both in terms of operating conditions, but also with respect to end markets. So specifically with our technology, we can cover applications uh, that span from uh, high performance uh, computing uh, all the way down to automotive motive and passing through industrial applications as well. Mm -hmm. And you brought something today. Yes, so what I'd like to show here actually is some evidence of the scalability and modularity of our technology. So what you see here is an example of how to enable a complete system from the input source, which in this specific case would be a 380 volt DC input, all the way down to the point of load, powering a multiplicity of outputs, including a processor, memory, memory and auxiliary rails. So as you can see, the solution is highly modular. Okay? The components interface with each other in a very simple way, and they come with a high degree of scalability to cover a wide range of power levels. So to be a little more specific, starting from this side, so this would be a front-end system okay, that takes 300 volt DC. In this form factor, we can process in excess of 1.5 kilowatts, exceeding 98% uh, efficiency. Then we convert the input source to our hub, which is 48 volts. Okay. And that enables the customer to deploy higher efficiency power distribution architectures. And with our point of load uh, regulators, we can take the 48 volt input all the way down to sub one volt voltages, a very high current or as high as 100 amps or 200 amps. And uh, what do you think, what is the major benefit of this solution? Well, the major benefit, is of, so first of all, let's start from the things that uh, I think would be very relevant for the customers. In, uh, let's start from performance attributes. Uh, I think we believe that uh, with this technology, we can offer the highest efficiency and high, higher density, okay? Starting from the source all the way to the point of load. In addition to that, due to uh, what I just mentioned relating to scalability and flexibility, enabling a complete system becomes very, very easy. And that means fast time to market for the customer. There is no need to get involved with tedious and complicated okay. custom development. This, these components, they interface with each other in a seamless way, they are fully featured, and other than enabling the system as shown, there isn't much, much more work to be done. Uh, right. Uh, what do you think what are the next steps of your company? Could you tell me more about future plans? Yeah, so I think we have embarked in this uh, broad vision of uh, that we call power component methodology. I think we intend to continue on this path, continue to push the envelope for the key performance metrics of uh, power, efficiency and cost and uh, leveraging our proprietary technology that involves uh, uh, power processing engines, control systems, and high performance packaging that relies on uh, 3D packaging with uh, low impedance interconnect, a high density interconnect, we intend to make these components denser and more efficient and more scalable over time. Okay, um, I have a question. What about power consumption? Well, power consumption, that's a very important question. So I think we are all witnessing uh, 
An escalation in demand for uh, power consumption, so most systems are demanding more and more power. If we think of data centers, for instance, they consume enormous amount of power. Okay? So that makes actually the relevance of our technology even more important because uh, I think we can enable those customers to deliver the highest possible efficiency in the smallest possible form factor, which allows them to minimize losses, contain energy consumption costs and end up with the most effective total cost of ownership. Okay. Thank you Claudio for this interview and for the insights in your company portfolio. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.